Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're back with Menards doing one load, cruising on up to Spencer, Iowa, and on back down. That's all we're doing. We're going to relax, enjoy ourselves. Stay tuned for some trucking. Well, good morning, everybody. We're traveling west on I, or I, uh, on 30 here in Iowa. And uh, let's take a look behind us. What do we got back there? Yep, we're back with Menards again. Got a good load. Uh, took a little while. Well, I texted in at 7. Um, it's a little bit after 8 right now. Uh, and we're heading to Spencer, Iowa. So, that's awesome. Uh, glad to be putting that box down. Uh, I was glad to have a lot of loads, two, two loads yesterday. Um, but the reality is, that thing really is hard on the truck. And I, I don't mean necessarily I'm beating it to death. I just mean the fuel economy is so much worse. I drove faster yesterday than I have in a long time because I needed to meet a deadline. No, I was not driving recklessly. I mean, when I, when I say that, I mean that on, on the highway, I was actually going to speed limit. That's what I mean. So I'll get excited. Um, so fuel economy was terrible. Um, it's always a strain on the truck. It's good to be pulling a flatbed again. I, I much prefer pulling a flatbed. Uh, we got the other phone back. Um, I don't know if it was just sitting off for a while but the screen started working better again. I don't know. But yeah, we're, you probably can tell. If you watch my videos, you know that we're back to the different camera. Uh, the iPhone. So that's exciting too. Uh, yeah, it's Friday, we're rolling, it's a beautiful day, started off a little chilly, uh, started off at 28 degrees this morning when I started with the truck, she was a little grumpy because I didn't, I didn't plug her in last night, uh, just because I was in a rush when I got home, and um, I think it's supposed to get in the 50s today, lower 50s, I saw next Monday, in a few days here, it's supposed to be 70 degrees. 70 degrees in Iowa in February. Crazy. I'm not going to complain. It's going to feel great. Anyway. We're going to get on down the road here. We're going to enjoy this day. Cruising across the highway. Spencer's one of the best. I think it's the longest load that we do. So that's exciting. They only got two rail cars in last night. But I think that's why he gave me this one. Because it'll keep me busy all day. So why won't we pester him? <laughs> I really hope we can get back to normal. Regularly scheduled programming and just be busy all week, every week. I'm sure it's coming soon, but it's really hard to be patient. All right, now I am gonna let you go. We'll catch you guys in a bit.
made it to Spencer. Um, I believe that there's a truck in front of me. I've never experienced that up here in Spencer. This isn't a very busy store. Uh, the truck that I saw was coming from the west, and it was a day cab, so I'm assuming it was a valley truck. Unless, I mean, I wasn't close enough to it to actually see Menards labeled on it. So, there's that. I still have hope, maybe, that it's not. But if it is, I think it was a single axle. So, he doesn't have that much stuff on him. He doesn't have any tarps on him. He's probably going to be a quick unload, so it's really not that big of a deal. I'm going to not let it bother me too much. Or at least I'm going to attempt to. Um, we're going to hopefully get this unloaded quickly. Um, I am intending on going to um, Jersey Mike's again for lunch. Nope, that's definitely him. He's, I, I, you probably couldn't see that, but he's about to go in the gate right now. Oh well. I'll take my time pulling in there and get out of everybody's way here. See if the ABF truck decides to be kind to me. Oh he is. Oh how nice. Oh nice. Left me plenty of room. Okay. He should already be in the gate. Hopefully, he realizes there's somebody behind him and he moves quickly. I bet he does. the deal. I'm going to get checked in here. We'll get unstrapped and see how long we have to wait. Well, we got bad news. He's not even going to let me in the gate. But I am going to get unstrapped here because no, no sense in wasting time. I want them to, to be able to get on me right when I get in there. No dilly-dallying. No excuses to be slow. <laughs> I'm going to pop out of here. We made it in, it didn't take it very long at all. It was in fact a single axle tractor. So he didn't have that much on there. I do not know where he was from. I didn't, I sort of, I was doing something, not paying close attention. He was already passing me when I looked up. So that's good stuff. Theoretically, we should be in and out of here. Looks like they got some mulch shipment. Part of me misses hauling that. I'm gonna get far over here so they got plenty of room because he's already staged the stuff they just unloaded. And, uh, we don't have to do anything because we're already unstrapped. stay out very long because it's windy. They, there's three belly straps still on. So I'm going to get those at some point. But uh, hopefully they get out here quickly and get me done. They usually stage everything over here. Um, so they don't make me wait 
which is nice. Oh, she's looking good. Still got a windshield that needs to be cleaned. The I stopped for fuel in early at the the um, Casey's, and their squeegees were terrible. I might actually clean that right now. But um, we need a little bit of a bath, but she's not doing too bad. We're done. That was very very simple, very very quick. It was a good unload. Um, in that it was mostly dimensional lumber long dimensional lumber I mean like 12 16 foot you know I don't know exactly I, I'm not that great at guessing lengths but it was long so there's a lot less of the units which means he covered a lot of ground they covered a lot of ground quickly I'm excited because you know where we're going now We're gonna go hit up some Jersey Mike's and have ourselves a good sandwich. I might even supersize it because I'm hungry. Mr. Cadillac here needs to get a move on. truck that was in here when I got here is gone so I got a good parking spot out front I like it I like it let's get some good food we're rolling into Pocahontas right now I took the detour out I usually take the detour out on the way up here up to Spencer I did not take the detour out because I was running out of fuel and I needed fuel, so I needed to stop in early and get some fuel from that Casey's there. And when I got off the highway, um, you know, turned and went south, and there on the side of the road was a, a I think it was a one, it was a one ton and three quarter ton uh, pickup with a dually gooseneck trailer pulled over probably went rolled past the scale when he probably should have been in it um, and he was there for a while so I don't know how bad it was but because he was he was there when I went into the gas station and he was there when I left so I, I hope he's all right <laughs> It was nice for me, I guess, because that meant that that DOT officer was occupied and not in the scale. But the poor guy, I would have been terrified. Seems like a lot of times when that sort of scenario happens, it's somebody who's not supposed to be driving that because that's a CDL rig. He needs a CDL and he needs, yeah, depending on how far he's going, he might need logs and I guess I don't know what his intentions were if it was actually commercial. It, it had, uh, I don't know if it was a cutoff or just the axle of a uh, big rig on the trailer. So, I don't, I don't know. He wasn't overweight, but gross vehicle weight rating, he was definitely illegal if he didn't have a CDL. I don't know, he's probably a farmer, so he probably can get away with it, I don't know. That. But we dodged the bullet and got past there. And this time, we're not even messing around with it. We're just po Pocahontas to uh, shoot south through, what is it, Pomeroy? And then get on 30 there 
close to Rockwell City, where that Sparky's is. We'll be cruising across the 20. So, yeah, that was just story time. But we'll catch you on down the road. It's a blustery day. We're back at the yard. We are done. Um, I enjoyed my trip up there. As the day went on, it got windy. Windier. It was windy the whole day. So that was a little unpleasant, but... It is what it is. Still got better fuel economy that, you know, running in the wind right now than I did yesterday. Um, so next week. Next week... Apparently, they don't have anything for me again. I'm starting to get tired of this. Impatient is what I am. Uh, especially knowing that he's let other people come back on. Um, that's very frustrating to me. Um, when I'm struggling... I do have a load booked for Monday. Um, it's just a short little one. Uh, Des Moines to Cumming, Iowa. Um, should be quick. Uh, I don't... I mean, it's not a great paying load. But it's good enough. It's good enough. Um, what I'm hoping it does is it... I'm hoping that it sets me up to pick up something afterward in Des Moines, something good. Um, it's going to be a short load. They want me there at 7. A crew's loading me, and then I'm going straight over to the delivery, and I need to be at the delivery at 8.30. Well, 8 to 8.30. Um, so basically straight over there. Make it work. And then uh, they're going to there's going to be a crew there unloading me so pretty high priority so it should be relatively quick um so i'm hoping i get something good after that um set myself up for uh, no deadhead all right i'm gonna drop this trailer and then we'll get back to the house the trailer's dropped I am glad I have something booked first thing in the morning on Monday morning. That relieves a lot of stress over the weekend, but it's still, still bothering me. Oh, get off nice and early today, so that's nice. No stress on that. Yes, I just talked about stress a number of, number of times. I don't really... Trying to eliminate stress. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Well, this, this isn't eliminating stress very much right now. Ah. Uh, I think we're going to go eliminate stress by going and washing the truck real quick. Quick power wash. And then on back to the house. Yep, that's what we'll do. We'll probably see you there. I don't know about you guys, but washing my truck makes me feel a whole lot better. You can definitely tell which rims I polished. We're going to try to get the rear ones done this weekend. And I'm also going to try to uh, polish the bumper up here. I got some rust spots showing up. I need to clean those up. Uh, with some polish. They're not bad enough that I can't do it with polish, so that's, that's what we're going to do. Get a nice little shot for you guys here. This is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it all. Comment down below if you would. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next one.